the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Yes, Bishop. Can you turn your mic up, please? He gonna talk loud. He comes up when he keeps talking. So is life not sacred because they do those things? If life not sacred because they do those things, if I ain't got them, can you read? I'm not saying sacred to God because they do those things. Life, if life, if life. Do they have life because they do those things? Or they still yet dead in trespasses and sin. No, you said you said that, that black people were doing all these things. Mm -hmm. What's the new is? Does that negate the fact that God says that man who is created in my image is life is sacred? I think that what it shows, it manifests that all that sin and come short of glory of God. Then we we're born dead in trespasses and sin. If that what we see manifest is not a life, it's not really life. <laughs> not the life that God is speaking of. Listen, when the scripture says that that man created in God, oh, here we go with this again. God, we got this. That was after man had failed. Yeah. Is that microphone still messing up? Is your mic messing up? It's my Lord help us. Y'all still can hear? I can't hear you. Oh, you can't hear us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, it's messing up again. I don't know what's wrong with his computer. Y'all gotta buy me a computer. <laughs> Say it again, Bishop. I think. God needs to buy you. You believe that God's gonna buy you a computer? <laughs> but, but see, you, you're an agent of the Lord. Your hands are His hands. <laughs> Normally, but I can't hear what He's saying. I'm sorry, man. I lost everything you said. Can you repeat it one more time? See if I can get it. The question. What was that? The question was: Does that mean that life is not sacred if they have the Black Lives Movement? Is life still not sacred? All lives are sacred, you're saying. And you're saying is that the we're made in the image of God. It's not their lives. It's not what they're saying. Does that what they're saying? Black Lives Matter does not make it their life sacred. Life sacred. Life itself. No, no, no. I, I, I was saying to him. He's talking about what black people are doing in the street. Right. How they what they do. And all I'm saying is, you somehow seem to imply that you're doing something makes life sacred. And that's not how God thinks. I'm, 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 I'm getting lost. Sacred because you're made in God's image. Period. That is why God, that is why murder is wrong in God's eyes. It's wrong to murder a saved person. It's wrong to murder an unsaved person. Yes. It doesn't matter what that person is doing. You give the implication that because black people are doing all these things, that somehow their life now is not sacred. No, no, that was the intent. <clears throat> and that was by no means the intent. Uh, I'm saying, and what I'm saying is that all lives are sacred. That's legit to me. If you're going to take a forefront and make a, a, a comment about your specific situation for some reason or another, how it becomes so much elevated above everybody else's situation as far as our lifestyle or even our experience is concerned, how does that give us that, or why are we taking that that ground when the things that we're doing to ourselves negates everything that we're saying? Okay, let me ask you, I ask a question. So have you ever participated in a fundraiser for cancer? No. Heart disease? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I don't think I have, no. I'm dedicated. Well, we we'll participate. Like I make a dedication. I'm mean, not dedicating a uh, donation to some of those. Yeah, I've done that. I made uh, 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 contributions to cancer. Uh, I think the pink, the pink ribbon thing that they had the cancer research for that. Because my wife was affected with that initially. Right. Yeah. You had. So, that. Yeah, I made. Yeah, I made contributions to that. Yeah. Okay, well, were you saying in that that autism is not important? Say it, say it one time. Did you mean when you, when you focused on, on cancer, were you saying that autism is not important? No, 
I wasn't saying that at all. What, what, what would you say? I was saying that, that you all just said all was important. You said cancer was important. Okay. See, you know what I'm saying? See, we got to think about what we're saying. When people say Black Lives Matter, it is, that does not, not mean all lives do not matter. It simply means that at the moment we're focused on that particular category. Hold up, Jay. Let me, let me I put it to you this way. If I'm drinking poison and I'm saying my life matters, then how does that, how does that in itself really reinforce or even send, send a, 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 a concise and clear message to anybody? This is a thing that we're doing to ourselves as well, or maybe even more so than what the other people are doing to us that's putting us in dire space. If we look at our behavior, our behavior is totally out of alignment. Our public behavior is out of alignment with that. But so we're know. putting ourselves in harm's way. We're going within the lynch of a Doberman and saying that he bit me. What the heck is supposed to happen to you? I mean, if you're going to stick yourself in that kind of situation continually, don't you expect that something is going to happen? Is that in this circle, you are speaking on God's behalf. When you make that statement, you are saying that this is how God sees it. Well, I put it to you this way. If you play with sin and you do those things that are of the devil, the no, way no, no, no. is what? No, yeah. you're, ducking, you're ducking the issue. What I'm telling you is that the issue. The issue is that we, we're following him or we're not. Are we following him? So are, you, we, are we out there following God? Or are we doing something that's counter to the will of God? I mean, we're just in different arenas. From where I sit, quit, quit ducking the question. No, like, you are telling people that this is how God sees it. Nah, I, I, I think He has to see it. Which that's one perspective. Okay, I think He sees it from everywhere it is. That, that you are saying to people that this is how God sees it. So you I'm saying, what I'm saying is the decadence and immorality that we display as a people on a continuous basis puts us at odds with God and prevents him from being able to come to our rescue as he has done so many times in the past. That is what I'm basically saying. There is no way you're going to run around in the street with your thing wide open, your, your feet wide open, MF and B and all of this. And this is us doing that. And I'm out there on the street listening to this garbage every day and then we're going to say Black Lives Matter? You got to kill off 57 of your own people, and then you're going to say Black Lives Matter? You discredit your conversation. That's garbage, man. You got to keep it in content, though, Elder. How did you get saved? No, no, let me, let me, let me finish this. How did you get saved? I got a video. I mean, how did I come to God? I came on the well, well, Hold on. Were you still doing all those things when you when you got saved? When God yeah, came, were you still doing all of those things? Or were you living holy when God saved you? Oh no, people tell me I was wrong. I went out there, they wouldn't try to justify my wrongdoing. I was doing wrong. Yeah. Well, I, I needed something. Somebody needed to, to, to help me, but uh, nobody put out. Why need people in a different? Why do you need people to do a different standard? Why are we all do a different standard? I hold it to a different standard because I want them to get saved. I hold it to a different standard because I'm bigger than enough to want my people to come south faced. I'm, I'm want you to skate, don't skate the issue. You you're not the issue God. Is your relationship with God. You need to get that right. Forget about going and crying to people that are killing you. Get to somebody that can keep you from killing you. Wow. So that's what I'm trying to say. We are going to, oh. and when I say that as, as a people, as, as, as a singular perspective, why am I going to the man that is murdering me to stop him from murdering me? Why don't I align myself with God and allow him to assist me in resolution of this thing? I do not understand it. That's the thing that really, I, I, and the word itself said that my way is pleased the Lord. He'll make even my enemies to be at peace with me. Is it pleasing to God that we are the, 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 the botulous? I mean, look at, look at the airwaves. Look at, look at what we're propagating. Look at the music. Look at the media. Look at the behaviors. Is that godly behavior? Should we be encouraging our people to avoid that? Are black people the only one ungodly? The, we, I'm not trying to address the, the issues of the whole world right now. No, no, no. That's that. what you're called to. <laughs> not in this world, world right? <laughs> I'm addressing what's before me. I'm, I'm addressing right what's in front of me. And I'm saying that we had, I think, this is Johnson now, it's totally Johnson an obligation to follow the God that delivered us out of the bondage of this nation 
we as a people need to be more focused on seeing his agenda carried out in this nation. That's what I'm saying. And I, that I would stick by because his hand was mighty in delivering us from the oppression of this society. He oh, called us to survive it. I think Johnson is kind of putting himself in the place of God. Woo. Now, how can you say that? Because God doesn't think like you think. Does he think like you think? The scripture testifies that God doesn't that, think. That God thinks the way you do. No, he doesn't think the way you describe to him. That's what I'm well, talking Israel about. had no moral uh, obligation to God to behave uh, in a holy manner. God doesn't feel the scripture. Uh, and I'm all, 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 all of that. The Israel had no obligation to God to exist, I mean, to behave in a holy manner. Then the scripture that says, be ye not conformed to this world, be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you might prove what is that good and perfect and acceptable will of God has no real basis among us. We have been called out, people have called out for the purpose of manifesting God's righteousness in the earth. That's it's not just, it's not an arbitrary thing to be doing it. It, 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 it. It's for the, the fact that we are supposed to exhibit the righteousness of God to people who are lost, who don't know him, who have not experienced the abundant life, we have not received that Holy Ghost within them. Let me get we you know better. Question. Let me get you to think. First of all, you're talking about unsaved people. Yes. That's where we all start out at. So why are you expecting unsaved people to not behave unsaved? I expect unsaved people to, to come to Christ. No. And no, I look, do not look, think condoning their no, sin no, no, or no, even no, encouraging no, them no, is going to do that. Why are you? Why would you expect Ray Charles to know what color your shoes are? The question is, why do you feel that I feel that way? I'm not asking any people to do something that they're not capable of doing. I'm asking them that they, we, and I'm talking about them specifically. What I'm saying is, those of us who know the Lord need to be addressing those issues so that we can cause our people to come to a place of prosperity, abundant life, not just ignoring them. Yes, black lives do matter. I agree with that 100%. But black souls matter even more so. You understand what I'm saying? So our push to get our people, not necessarily out from under social bondage or social injustice, is just to get them in the face of God, which we have not done. We literally have not addressed that issue. People, stop being out there being decadent and immoral. And if this stays on there, I pray to God. Go turn your faces back toward the God that delivered your black butts from slavery in this United States of America and <laughs> social injustice. And that's 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 what Johnson does, and I'll take full responsibility for that. that because is good. as a people, he has shown himself mighty among us who had zero except chains about our necks. So, Look at us now. Hold on. Uh, no obligation to this God who delivered us. To, 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 to propagate his kingdom. Elder, I can see. everybody wasn't saved that was delivered from bondage. I know, but as a social movement, as a so, as a society, as a subculture in the United States of America, the hand of God has been made evident in this. Everybody that was a Jew wasn't practicing Judaism. They weren't, they weren't, and even now they don't necessarily do it, but how is God dealing with them as a people? The United States of America, we cannot, I don't think we can, I, I say we can't, we can do anything we want to mentally, but it's difficult to see how a people who have gone through the experience, I say people, have gone through the experience that we have in the United States of America, been given a social, attained a social, uh, 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 what, do you, what do you call it, privileges that we have through the intervention of God, and then turn so fiercely and so readily and so quickly against the God that brought us out. That disturbs me on a personal note. If anybody in the United States of America has the reason to praise and to worship and to uplift the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I literally think it's black men. Well, I he, think it's he, black he, folk. See, because he, black he, folk were at the bottom problem. of the room. That realize your problem right there. That's that your might. problem. You see, you see, this is how you see it. But to see, and, and, and I'll all take all you gotta do is look back at your own life and you'll realize that there's a contradiction. Amen. That's all you gotta do. If you just think back over your own life, you'll realize that there's a contradiction. Because what you don't realize is that you somehow seem to think that wrong living prevents God from dealing with people. 
As a matter of fact, wrong living is the very means by which God deals with people. Wow. Woo. Had it not been for you walking this, you got saved. Woo. That, that truly, Woo. the turn back is where we where we went. We went back to God. We didn't turn away. You didn't go back it's to back. God. No, I'm talking about as a people, Israel did. The United States of America, the, the, the blacks in America. So then had, who crucified who crucified Christ? Who, who put him in that position? The Jews did. But you but said they went back to turned back. from they did they are turning back. They're being turned back to it now. Okay, but you you the thing is we're taught called to preach the gospel, not to a race, but to this world. And so if if we're to do it to this world, then we can't just we can't set aside a race. But, you, but, I, but hold on. Why was Paul, if, why was Paul if, called to the Gentile nation? Why was uh, uh, Peter and, 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 a, and a couple of others called to the Jews? Because it if, wasn't, if he wasn't. If he wasn't specific about the or the designation, but wasn't clear about it, why were certain people designated to preach to certain people? Well, you had. If God couldn't see any of that, if He hadn't dealt with that, we're not talking about Old Testament. We're talking about New Testament manifestations of our kingdom now. So, wouldn't you think it would cause it would cause more people? to be specifically dealing with a certain people who were under the law for so many years. Now you have a new law that's written on their hearts and a new way to live for God. It will take more to convince these people and to preach to these people whose very life the way they exist is built on old promises. And their life is set up to where just their existence is based on rules from the Old Testament. And then here you have New Testament that need to go out to them. But Paul didn't just spread the gospel to a specific type of people he spread it to every different Anybody that were here yes no so, that's it. so that's it. you're though you are in a community that's centered <laughs> the, the community you're centered in is of color you're still not going to change that community by telling people what they can and cannot do or should and should not do. That's the Holy Spirit's job. You are to, to, to share the gospel no different than it was shared with you for you to choose God. So if, if, if you're trying to tell people how they need to live that is based on Johnsonism, then that's adding to the gospel. So then, makes sense. What we would have to do is a lot of these guys go around with their boxes, playing in the street, saying MFB, or whatever else they wanted to say. But that, I, but that I, is the norm. Oh, let me finish. That is the norm for us. Is this is what we're condoning, or we're just not going to address that because you know only the Holy Ghost can tell them that calling their sisters bees. Ain't righteous in the name of God. Even from a, a, a cardinal common sense, I mean, from a worldly sense, that's denigrating women ain't good. I mean, that doesn't work for us, it, 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 either in the norm or in the spirit. So what, what I'm saying is that, and what I'm saying is that, there was a manifestation of a people in the United States of America who brought in slaves. And that existed for hundreds of years. It was a norm for them to be slaves. These people were brought out of bondage by God. But we didn't have a personally didn't have the resources to fight our way out. Even if we had had a true uprising, we would have lost. We would have remained slaves, and most of us would have died. So now these same people that God's hand was mighty, obviously mighty, and delivered them from the slavery and the bondage, they get out of slavery and bondage and turn against the teachings of the God that delivered them. 
Look and we are to say, as a people, we should ignore that. And, and I'm, not, I'm saying I may be wrong, but that, that is what I'm seeing. Well, but you know what I'm but your, your mindset is in the fact that all people yeah. who was in bondage was God's people. What? No, 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 if, uh, if, how does it, if it, if it, nothing apply? I don't think anything applies to every specific individual. Like again, a lot of black people weren't saved in that institution. A lot of Jews didn't practice Judaism and does and skip the don't. So, but when we look at the way that God dealt with a group of people, and we see this is specific, even among Jews, the Jews were dealt with a specific way because of the society that they were surrounded by. Now, who can say that Israel wasn't attacked by all the Islamics that was in the, in, in, in the Middle East after the Second World War when they were trying to reform the nation? You would not have to be there and not know the history. They were attacked as a country, whether they believed it or not, they were attacked. Were they in bondage under, under Pharaoh as a group? Yes, they were. How did they get there? With circumstance, circumstance, situation brought them there. Did we choose to come to America as slaves? No. What united us when we got here? We came from all parts of Africa. It wasn't just the, the, the West Coast, the East Coast. We were not a people. We were made of people when we got here in, this, in the dynamics of this society is what caused us to bind together. 